Jen, your pudgy picker here at my desk. Uh, got a small haul for you. Found a lot of one thing and then some clothes and a couple other little things. <laughs> I don't know. I looked up a few of these and then I thought, ah, it's fine. And then ended up being a great purchase. So first thing we'll do is in my lap, I have all my clothes I got today. So I got a couple dresses. I looked there when I came through, by the way. I just took a shower and just kind of moosed my hair. Hey! The Amazon just came, even though it is literally 9 o'clock at night. So if I look a little weird and disheveled, you're just going to have to power through it. Because this is not a beauty channel. It is a reseller channel. <laughs> so this first one is a Tara and Sky uh, sleeveless dress. It was $8.79, so I paid $4.40. And so it doesn't have it doesn't have any sleeves. It's pretty stretchy. And then the waist is yeah, about where your waist would be. It's not one of the Empire ones. But it's pretty long. And then also this tie came with it. So I will style that a couple different ways when I uh, take pictures on my mannequin. Uh, 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 let's see, I said that was a 4X. Uh, this is Maggie Barnes, which, if you don't know, is a Catherine's brand. Uh, this was $8.79, so this was also $4.40. Uh, 5X. So again, another sleeveless gown. Uh, stretchy, an empire waist. See, here's where the armpit is, so you could tell it's pretty high up and then the bottom flares out a little bit so that's kind of cute this is interesting because I was looking at it and I'm like oh that's really cool so uh, this is a Catherine's it is a black t-shirt but it is so dark um, I mean it's in really good condition you know a lot of times when you find darker colors they just look even if they're just washed a few times, they just look really beat up and kind of fuzzy. This one looks great. It's a 3X, Catherine's, if I didn't say. It was $4.49, so I paid two and a quarter. So short sleeve t-shirt. So it has this. It says Lucky. Now watch this. Now if I do this, it also says Lucky, but it's all gold. <laughs> they cool? I never have pillows like, see, if I had pillows like this, my OCD would make me constantly be, you know, flattening them out the same direction. Yes, it's an actual issue I have. <laughs> um, this one is, I really like this one, but I'm afraid it is too big. It's a woman within. Their sizes are weird, so they'll say a 3X, but a 3X is normally like a 22 or 24, maybe 24. Uh, but this one says 30, 32. So this was 449, so it was 250. And it's this t-shirt, short sleeve. It's longer, as you can tell. And it is stretchy. I don't know, it's just kind of an interesting, it almost looks like that Wagyu beef. <laughs> you ever had that before? I hear it's quite expensive, but yeah, that's what it looked like when I first looked at it. So, round neck, easy peasy, pretty good price. Did I say how much that was? Yes, I did, $2.50. Um, this one is one of these colors that you don't necessarily, you don't call it purple and you don't call it burgundy, you'd call it raisin, you know? That's a raisin color. It looks kind of brown on camera, but it's a little more like plum color. This is a Romans 3032, their equivalent of a 3X. This one was $2.99, so I paid $1.50. So it's just a basic t-shirt, kind of long, short sleeve, but it's got this little uh, detail on the back of the neck. Isn't that adorable? So there's that. This is cute. I have one very similar to this. I, I don't think the, black, the background is gray. So this is a Honey Me Curvy. Never heard of it. This is an extra, extra, extra large, so 3X, it was $5.29, so I paid $2.50, $2.65. So here's what it looks like. It looks like a sweatshirt, but it's not. But it's a pretty stretchy knit. Um, it is a charcoal gray. It looks kind of green on camera. V-neck, 
uh, three quarter sleeves, but <clears throat> I like the extra little detail. They put the cuff around the bottom. I like stuff like that. I don't know. It takes a little more time probably to make, but it, it actually looks, it makes the item look a little more expensive. You know what I mean? Um, this one is One World. Uh, they do a lot of those, oh gosh, butter, is it butterfly tops? I always call them stamped because that's what it looks like. This is a 3X. It was $7.99, so it was 4 So it's this. I would even say this is a tunic because it's very long, stretchy. It's got like a blue, I don't know, what would you call it? That's just kind of an abstract something. I don't know. So it's got the little keyhole and the round neck and long sleeves. And they're variegated where it's lighter and then it gets dark toward the bottom. So there's that one. And then this one is just a basic red t-shirt. Very, again, very clean. Um, a lot of the tagless shirts or tagless items, after they've been washed several times, that gets, you know, beat up looking. I mean, look how crisp that one is. So that is a woman within. It was $5.29. So $2.65. It's just this basic red V-neck top. With, uh, I'd say those are long sleeves, so not too bad. And then we're almost done with the clothes. I know clothes aren't everyone's cup of tea. This is White Birch is the brand, $7.99, so it was 4 This is a 3X. Again, it's that weird, it looks like sweatshirt material, but it's not fuzzy on the inside, so... With this really cool like abstract kind of painting effect I've, I like that a lot it's very cool and we have long sleeves uh, and again pretty stretchy it's very pretty it's got light grays and pink and tan it's very pretty this one has a little bit of pilling on the upper rear end quadrant <laughs> You know, where everybody's rubbing against their chair or getting in and out of the car. But at this price, I thought, you know, I got one of my little shavers. I'll see if I can make it better. Ooh, this one actually was more than I thought. It was $7.99, so I paid four. It is a Catherine's. They took the size out. But if I measure it and just compare it to some of my other listings, then I'll tell you what size it is. Catherine's clothes run a little bit big, too. So, again, it's kind of like a tunic because it's longer. Uh, three-quarter sleeves yeah it's got a little bit of stretch to it but it's so pretty it's like gray and like a gold color and a purple very nice and this is the last item of clothing CJ Banks 3x $7.99 so I paid eight it's got this v-neck um, it's just like a like a very stretchy t-shirt top um, long sleeves Paisley, very cute. Okay, so that's all the clothes. Not too bad a time. Uh, when I first saw these two items, I was like, oh, those are so cute, but they're not in season. But uh, as I got looking at it, I realized that this adorable little piggy is not wearing a Santa hat. It is just a little nightcap. He's going to bed. Isn't he cute? So he was $4.49. So I paid two and a quarter for him. And then, of course, I had to get his friend a little red piggy with a little green, uh, little green night hat on. Isn't he cute? But he's more. Uh, $5.99. So I paid three for him and two and a quarter for him. So it was still worth it. Uh, oh, isn't he cute? So I wonder how many different colors these came in. But they're adorable. Now this is going to need a little bit of cleaning um, because it, when you pick it up, it's it's a little bit sticky, almost like you had it next to your stove and a little bit of grease got on it, and then it then you never washed it, and then you get all this fuzz and it just sticks to the surface. <laughs> it's as gross as it sounds, but uh, this was seven ninety nine, so I paid four. And he's the prettiest color of turquoise. Um, I mean, he's like he's glazed almost. I don't know. I know he was probably in some kind of mold, but isn't he cute? I love the crazing detail, you know, all these cracks. 
That's called crazing if you didn't know. Oh, he's a little dirty under his tail, but we won't tell anyone. But I thought that was pretty cute. So this guy, I could probably get 14 for him. Uh, the pigs, I'll probably do 10 to 12. People love animal figurines, so it's, it's a pretty easy sell. You just have to price it fairly and just let the person come to it. They'll find it. Um, I only found one bagged item today, and it was only a dollar. So I hope this holds water. It doesn't look old. In fact, I think it came with a plant in it, and the plant didn't make it, so they ended up donating it. Because on the bottom of it, it's it says, uh, I think it's succulent. Yeah, so sadly it did not survive, but the cute little bunny, bunny uh, planter did. So I will... Uh, yeah, it's, it's not old, and it doesn't have the hole in the center. So I will go ahead and fill that up with rocks, and it will have a couple lucky bamboo, and it will go out to my store. It's the only thing I found on the wall. Okay, so these last items are all the same. I mean, they're kind of same, but they're not all the same. <laughs> Don't you love how I, my, my, my mother talked this exact same way, and my dad, who they were married for over 50 years before he passed away, she would just say exactly what I did, and he'd look at me and go, do you know what she's saying? <laughs> and i go, yeah. <laughs> so. Anyhow, I know you guys are telling me you like my corny stories, so I'll keep telling them. So all these kits are new. All of them were marked $1.49, except two were marked $2.49. So half price. I got each of these for $75, and then I'll <clears throat> show you the ones that were actually $2.49, so I paid a dollar and a quarter. And I already put a sticker on there with how I'm going to list it, but there's two of these. Now, what these are, are a quilt block kit. There's six squares in there. See the squares? So you get as many as you need because on the bottom here, somewhere, on one of the other ones it has how many kits or how many squares it takes to make the quilt. So um, these I ended up uh, pricing for $14.99 each. This one was a harder, uh, I found a lot with this brand and this style but didn't have the tulip bouquet. So there's those. And then the rest of these were 75 cents each. So there are seven of these. So it says it is a special edition quilt blocks tulips by Bucilla. And here it says uh, quilt size packages. For a twin, you need five. For a full or queen, you need seven. And a king, you need nine. So. But I found, what, enough for a fuller queen? <laughs> so I thought those were really cute. And this is stamped on there. So, and then it tells you what kind of floss you need. So these are going for $14.99 a piece. And I usually, when I have a whole stack of something, I'll do the multi-discount. So if you got more than one item, first one is regular price. Second, it's down you know, like 10% and then 15%. So the more you buy, the cheaper they go, which is fine. If I'm gonna clear them out and somebody's looking to do a larger project, you could probably do a few of these and make like a, what they used to call a table runner. Um, but I don't know. You can do whatever you want. If you buy them, you can, you can use them as rags. I don't care. <laughs> Now these, this brand is like the first two I showed you, it's Wonder Art. And a lot of these still had the original price tags from Kmart. So it tells you how long ago that was. So these are six stamped blocks. And I have uh, da, 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 five of these, they're all the same. So that's what it looks like. It's a flower, almost looks like an iris. Or an orchid. Orchid and vine is the name of this one. So those all will go up for $8.99 or $9.99. I am going to be running a sale at the end of this month uh, in my eBay store. So if you're interested, you can go over and take a look. 
You don't have to buy nothing if you don't want. The last four I got are quilt blocks, Vogart. I remember <laughs> another story. My mom used to, she didn't buy them all the time because we didn't have a lot of money and it was expensive, but she would buy uh, the latch hook kits. And the one time she bought a Vogart, V-O-G-A-R-T, and she started making it, and it was the the yarn was so thin on the latch hook kit that she was she wrote them she wrote them a letter back in the day and said your your yarn is so thin I'm gonna have to use two of each to do it and I don't have enough to do that so guess what they did they sent her more yarn <laughs> I don't know you get enough of those complaints you're like fine we'll just you know put a better product out. So these are quilt blocks. These are, uh, uh, it says for embroidery or ballpoint painting. Now years ago, that was a big thing. You'd have uh, almost like a real nice fine tip on like paint and it would either be paint or you would put it on and then when it would hit the air and it would start to dry, it would puff up. It was puffy paint. I'm not kidding, you should Google it. So I got three, four of these. And there's a diesel clank. And then again, it's stamped on there. So yeah, and these are going for a reasonable middle of the road price is $12.99 and I have four. So really not bad for basically, you know, less than $10, not bad at all. So that's all I got. What do you think of my piggies and my rooster or my bunny cup? Which uh, item would you have picked up? And which item would you have said, nah, and I think my close to being a nah was probably these kits because they will sell eventually and they'll sell for decent money, but they're not going to sell quickly. So, you know, it's one of those, do I want to just buy something I know is going to get turned over really quick and then I get the money back? Or do I want something that I know I can get a higher price, but I have to sit on it for a while? You know, it's all part of the, the game of eBay. So it is what it is. So please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Uh, click the notification bell. Uh, if you click all, it'll tell you anytime I go live, which I'm going to start doing soon. I swear I talk about this all the time. And I keep hitting, yeah, yeah, Jen, yeah, blah, blah, blah. No, I want to get to uh, doing that again now that I'm, I'm set up in a nicer looking space. <laughs> I know upstairs would be so distracting to see all that garbage in the back. We don't even use upstairs anymore. We're kind of cleaning it out and making decisions on some stuff up there, uh, which is nice. So we're like, I could, if if there was no walls, I could take, a, you know, a, a Kleenex and wad it up and ding, hit Mr. Punch Finger right in the head with it. So we're very close. And he uses my, uh, well, my, he uses the printer and scanner that we have in my office. So he just comes in and slides the door uh, to one side and then prints his stuff. Not too bad. He would print it before and have to go up and down and up and down the stairs. Or I would go up and down, up and down the stairs. So yeah, so I enjoyed your company. I hope you enjoyed mine. Please remember too, to sh uh, share this video. Uh, you can share it with your social media. You can also send it to someone in Messenger. Hey, I've done that a couple times with a few videos and I would appreciate it. Uh, helps with my channel. Even a lot of you who just put like a little wave or a little heart uh, down in the comment section, that helps me as well. It helps grow my channel. So I do appreciate that. So I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.